What is going on, Gulf Coast Nation guys? Welcome back to another episode this week on the beach fishing. Yes, sir. We're gonna see if we can't put another big one on the beach after today. Yeah, nothing, nothing is like it has been ever on this channel before. We are super pumped up. Spencer Wonder from Terraforma Tackle has been so nice to invite us to California. We've had some great friends tag along like Cody Snell from Sandbar Tackle. So Yoo! today is day number two. We have an epic morning trip planned out. But if you're watching this video and you have not seen day number one, go back, stop, watch day number one where we traveled in smacked the never before seen species last night got up early this morning and today we're gonna go after some awesome pelagic sharks one that you've probably seen on this channel already we're hoping to get another one underneath our belt maybe adam will be on the rod there's that water <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh all right big swells pacific coast time pacific ocean west coast time to get based in the water Ew! Adam's about to kayak up, run the first bait. Obviously, the waves are not the same as they are on the Gulf Coast. No panhandle waves here, so Adam's got to pay attention, time it out, but I think he's got it. So I'll let you guys go with him. about that first paddle. I can't right now, I can't set. <laughs> right, bait number two, I'm about to run it out. This is gonna be my second West Coast paddle. The first one was last night. Let's see if we can't not get flipped and dunked on by Glenn. Got a good run there. Woo! I think we got our Mako. My rod got picked up that I tagged out. Mac 80 wide, baby. On our brand new Steadfast. Sandball 18 out in the corner. Oh, man. This is a real one here. I think it's a big old Mako. We saw him tail walking. So this stuff, did you see this frame, Spencer? Get a little rock in there, okay. Big fish, big fish. You're gonna get comments like, put more drag on it. Yep. No matter what. Ah, oh, you can't ever make everyone happy. Mm. Monster. So we're not running our normal drag that we would normally run. One, because these Makos are hard to keep hooked out here on the West Coast. And two, you're not really as concerned about fight times because they're not like hammers where they, where they die easy. So you're good to go. Good to go. I started running some lighter drag, trying to keep it. If you put too much pressure on these big fish like that, you'll end up pulling hook. But Definitely a Mako. We've, we've seen him tail walking up on the surface. Whole drags, not hooks. Yep. <laughs> I'm so sick, man. No multi-day trips needed in California. Okay. Ah, Mono! Got Mono back, got Mono back. You know how it works in here? Oh, 
What's up? Holy crap! That's a what? Oh, guys! No! Dude, it's a great white one, guys. We gotta get him out quick. Get him in quick. <laughs> Got him out. Sandbar tackle hook right there. Where did that thing go? You rolling? Oh, dude! Woo! Oh, yeah, thank you. That was crazy. Woo! What in the world? Dude, I cannot believe that just happened. We no joke, just turned that fish out. Got back up on the beach and Adam, I haven't even stopped recording. Adam is now on. Whoa! Clicker, baby. Oh! Hands oh! down. Go ahead. It's worth the kayak, Adam. Yes. <laughs> hey. That was in the. All right. Make sure if I start to go, yeah. grab me. Hang on. You got you a fishy. Yeah. Whoo! It's like fighting cold in that water. Shakes are insane. I'm saying you can tell. Oh, I saw it! Grab me! Yeah, there he is! Hang closer to me. You got him. Look at that. Oh, look at those head shakes. This is why it's the two hours of sleep. <laughs> two hours of sleep? You slept the whole drive. Oh, look at that. Look at the head shakes. Woo! Another big bite though. All right, so we had a little tangle up issue. So Spencer is going out. Woo! Sir, the big head fish. shakes are insane. So Spencer is going out into the kayak, in the kayak, going out there to try to check our untanglement issue, and we just caught a great white. No. Bobby. Pop it open if you can. Tension off, tension off. Where's his head? Watch out, watch out. Down. <laughs> back to back whites. Back to back great whites. I cannot believe that just happened. All right, so out here in California, uh, within within three miles of the beach, we're under state regulation, or within 300 miles of the beach, we're within state regulation. So what that means is we have to go by the California DFW handbook, not the NOAA regulations. What the California DFW handbook says is that that is a no-take species. No-take means no targeting, pursuing, capturing, or killing. As long as you get that fish released in a timely manner, don't delay the release for photos, get that hook out, get that fish back. Do not cut your line when you see the fish. Do not leave that fish with a rig and a float and all that. Everybody out here knows you're gonna catch one. It's California, they live here. 
You're targeting male girls, targeting threshers, targeting seven girls. There's so many shark species off this coast. We're not trying to catch whites. They literally get in the way. No different than a sandbar shark in Florida. Same situation. You're not trying to catch sandbars. They eat your baits. They're intended for other species. The same story here. Those whites are getting in the way of our mako fishing, our thresher fishing, our seven gill fishing. Doesn't mean we're not thrilled to catch them. It's an exciting fish. It's a cool fish, especially for these guys. I've never seen one before. Never been that close to one. It's pretty epic, but it is what it is. You gotta get them released, get them out clean. There it is. Let's talk about this morning. What an awesome trip. Adam and I, back to back whites, complete surprise. Not even our target species. We were hoping to get Adam on his first land based Mako. We were hoping to pop one over 10 foot, but that's land based fishing. Um, there, there's sea bass out there. We're going to get, I'm going to, we're going to get on the sea bass. I want to get on sea bass. But, anyways, just completely unreal. But California is a different place than anywhere else in the country. And uh, we were able to get our hands on it to pop the hook out, get a really safe, fast, clean release on these whites and uh, we popped two back to back and that was really not our, our target species it really wasn't our intention to go pop those whites like that so uh, we decided to go ahead and pack the gear up and get out of there obviously if there's two back to back if we ran more baits there was a possibility of catching more whites and that's just not our intention we don't want to you know drag around and poke on species that aren't meant to be targeted so we packed up although it would have been nice to get cody on a white or get spencer on another white we just you know the responsible choice there was to pack up and uh, just head to the next destination but comment below boost the algorithm share this thing around we work our butt off not only traveling not only filming not only editing driving long hours we got two hours of sleep last night so show us a little bit of love share this thing around i hope you guys really enjoyed it because it was an epic epic experience that i never honestly thought we'd live out in our entire life but we got some people to thank andyandrews.com we would not have landed in california if it wasn't for our sponsor our flight sponsor there so go check out andyandrews.com sandbar tackle mr cody right here not only for the great 18 knot sandbar tackle circle hooks that plugged those whites this morning but this man he's driving around switching lanes Woo! <laughs> so he's Daisy in that's the right car. <laughs> He's our car chauffeur along with our hook sponsor, along with our lodging sponsor for this trip, so it wouldn't be possible without Cody. And then a big thanks to Tara from a tackle for showing us the ropes, being so hospitable. Hospitable? Yeah, how'd you say that? Hospitable. Hospitable. And humble. Humble. He's a very humble guy because this dude is literally a freaking legend. And he's, he's letting the best in the world. He's letting he fishes at a high level. It's been awesome. I will say we popped that. We popped both of the whites this morning on the Terra Firma Tackle float rig. Those will be available on terrafirmatackle.com. They have sandbar tackle hooks ready to go. They come with a float. You just attach and go. We will be making a short video on explaining how to use those float rigs here in the near future. So keep out, um, keep on the lookout for that. But Terra Firma Tackle, sandbar tackle, andyandrews.com. We have amazing sponsors. Our steadfast rods this morning kept us bowed up. On both of those whites the parabolic bend kept that hook plug the entire time we just have an awesome i just i'm over the moon right now um i feel like i'm just living 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 the awesome life getting to bring you guys along with us and uh, if it wasn't for you guys we wouldn't be able to do any of this it'd be it'd be pointless so check this out